costs to uh, wayfarers is something that we want to sort of target the cardistry community with. And um, it's something that uh, was supposed to come out on the, the film that we were going to do in May. Uh, and that was supposed to be released around CardistryCon, but, you know, we're going to put it out early. So um, it's a brand new deck more aimed towards Cardist. So I think we had that photo of the seal. And yep, I think then. let's let's run let's run through it. So I, right. these have been posted on our Instagram, and these seals. So what I like to what I'd like to talk about about these seals is basically these seals are essentially uh, the bridge between the detailed Joker and a Thief decks and the more minimal cardistry decks. What I want to really put out there is that a Joker and a Thief deck that is a cardistry deck will be as exquisite as the more premium, well, as the more detailed premium decks. Right. So we've got a completely custom design seal. We've had all original artwork done for this deck. However, we're taking a more minimal approach. Um, the next photo, with, I think it's, yeah, shows Joker and a Thief. So we have used letterpress um, techniques for this box. And it's really, really beautiful. It's, it's textured. You can feel it. And as you can see, there's quite a lot of... Uh, that's been quite indented there. Mm -hmm. um, and I guess what I will have to show you guys is what the deck actually looks like. Now this hopefully is coming out in the next few months, but this is like the first look of the back design um, coming out. So I've got, I've got a deck here and this is the back design nice. of Joker and a Thief. So this is not just a simple, uh, sort of solid color. The borders are distressed to, to keep in line with the Joker and the Thief grunginess. Nice. We've got our emblem stamped straight in the middle and these feel really, really great for cardistry. So the only thing that isn't custom about these is the court cards. But because we're going for a vintage vibe, we've selected Arco court cards. Yes, yeah. 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 good choice. So yes, yeah. so it, it has that vintage sort of 70s vibe um nice. and that's sort of what we were going for so this is you know what i'm going to show you guys some more stuff as why well. not nice. show what you'd like <laughs> yeah. I, honestly though steven i love the arco courts i think they're so underrated and so underused yeah. they're just I'm, so I'm good like that too. Nah. yeah they're beautiful and i thought it well it would suit this it would suit this very well and we didn't i just didn't feel like how are we going to do like a custom court cards for this it just won't suit yeah. So that's what we decided to do. We didn't want to go completely standard, but, you know, Arcos are nice. Anyway, I'll show you guys the Ace of Spades. This is our... Oh, nice. I love that. Established uh, 2015. That's and cool. we had... So essentially what the cool part is, is we still have a Joker and a Thief card instead of two Jokers. So that's always going to be a motif. But nice. what we had done, we had our artists sort of try to emulate the Arco style court cards and you'll be able to see them here. Oh, cool. Oh. I love that. So, That's so awesome. So those That's are cool. the Jokers for the 597s, which is what we're calling these new ones. Nice. nice. And they'll be, and they'll be, you'll see more of those. Uh, well, there's not much more to see, but you, you'll see, you'll see them uh, in more detail in the coming closer to the release date. Nice. Um, now, what, what made you choose green? Dude, choosing like, choosing a color is like, it's oh hard. my god, yeah, it's tough, man. So what what made you choose green? Is that one of your favorite colors, or it has become one of my favorite colors? I've right. just noticed I've done three green decks in a row, which is not you know not too great that I've done that. However, I feel like um, it just suited for this design. I was inspired a lot by some motorcycle companies and some, some vintage sort of artwork and. So that with the pop of yellow would be really cool and the cream tuck box it's not white it's off white it's a cream color i thought nice. that all together will just look really really cool it's kind of it's kind of like the plaids kind of that vintage yes yeah yeah and jt sort of moving in that direction having sort of that that sort of vintage sort of vibe and that you know that cool style old school yeah. cool yeah which i think uh, fits though i mean it's a natural progression from where the decks were before you know they were very much a more uh antique but cool we'll say and it's progressing into that vintage mm. it's almost like an evolution instead of like going back this the cards are actually evolving into a vintage style which is nice exactly and it's you know i want to create a deck that's practical that i can sort of take out every day yeah. and and use and just 
throw around, you know, and that's yeah. what that's what the five ninety sevens will be for a lot of people, hopefully. And and also to get our foot in the door in the cardistry community. Like a lot of cutters know of Joker and the Thief, but you know, everyone's been a lot of people have been screaming out for like something a little more minimal. Right. Um so yeah, that's what's coming.